Hey guys, it's Lego Money Up and here, and today I have the top 10 characters for you guys for the Ninjago. Now, they're just mostly main characters, okay? But not all main characters, you know, fit. I mean, there, there are nine main characters I listed, so I had to list an extra, and I decided not to list in a Tournament of Elements character. The character I was going to insert at number 5 was going to be Skylar, but uh, I, I was afraid I would get a lot of hate for not uploading a video with the rest of the Tournament of Elements characters, but I'll do that probably in a separate video. So, this is a top 10 characters of main characters in the Ninjago series. So, let's get into the video. So, up at number 10 is Jay. Now, Jay is the master of lightning. Yes, that's a no-brainer. I know. <laughs> but he is the third generation of the master of lightning. Now, there are a lot of theories of how the heck he got his powers in the first place when his parents, Ed and Edna, Ed, Edna? <laughs> Ed and Ed, Ed, I can't say their names. Ed and... Screw it. They're pa no one knows where he got his powers because his parents don't look eligible to be um, masters of anything. They're just the master of oldness. And, uh, well, I know that's not a word. But they're just the master of old, let's just say that. And it's kind of awkward. I do think it is kind of weird to know where the heck did Jay's powers come from in the first place. But, yeah, apparently he is among fan favorite for any type of, you know, um, polls on Google+. Plus. You have Jay in the list. Most likely, people will vote for Jay because he's the comedy person of the team. And he's also not very bright. So, yeah. I can see why he has a lot of popularity there. And up at number 9 is Cole. I purposely placed this here, right next to Jay. Beat it, fans! Um, <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, Cole is the third generation master of Earth. Now, it's unknown to what also for him where he got his powers from. I suspect his mother, but that's un like not really confirmed. Cuz Lego has the tendency of not showing someone's mothers or even females in the series sometimes. So mom's missing in the series, I guess, makes it a little bit more interesting. But yeah, his father is a dancer or I don't know what the heck he is. He's a man ballerina or something like that who is a royal blacksmith and he wanted his son to be just like him but shamefully he wasn't but it's a good thing he's a ninja because hey he's i gotta tell you he's he's pretty cool looking and up at number eight we have misako misako is the mother of lloyd and the wife of lord garmadon or sensei garmadon now she had to, she disappeared from Lloyd a long time ago to study about the green ninja stuff, I can't remember. But they were reunited in season three at the museum, and ever since then she has been a part of the team. And I think her having her a part of the team is pretty cool because she knows all the history they need to know, and technically she should be a female sensei. That's just my opinion here. I know your guys' opinion. But hey, she should be a sensei. I think so. Uh, let's let's call her Sensei. Okay, it's a sensei who's a girl. Sensei. Let's ship that. <laughs> and up at number seven is Sensei Garmadon. Now Garmadon was turned very good in season four or something. He the Overlord was defeated, which fused together with his body and then he became good. And I have to say, I think he was much better when he was a bad guy because now that he's uh, old, it's pretty defenseless and sad. And I have to say, it's like watching a disabled man in a cartoon show. It's really sad. Let me tell you. And up at number six is Sensei Wu, second son of the first Minjutsu master. Sensei Wu's element is basically unknown, but I think he's just all the elements or something or gold or something like that. I think he's a cloud element. Maybe that's why his dragon looks like a bunch of marshmallows mask, mask, mashed together. 
I mean, seriously, if you look at that dragon for a while, you think, that guy looks like a bunch of marshmallows. <laughs> he looks good enough to eat. Yeah, it's probably why they all went extinct, like, you know, in Avatar The Last Airbender. Anyways, <laughs> Sensei Wu is the teacher of the four ninja, or I would say five ninja, accordingly. And he's been teaching them ever since, but ever since, like, season three or four ended, you know, he's just... He's like, I'm too old for this crap. Someone else teach him. <laughs> please. I'm getting old. Just... Please. And up at number five is Pixel. Pixel is first introduced in season four. She is a female robot that ends up falling in love with Zane. She turns bad for a while, but then she eventually turns good just by, like, lowering the electrical system. I really don't know. I don't remember too much of season four. It was just a flash. A flash that I don't want to remember, <laughs> you know? But Pixel was, um, re you know, reintroduced in the Tournament of Elements, but she was broken apart. And then Zane thought for some reason it would be okay to plug that image into his head. So now she lives in his head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but it's kind of weird, but you know, you can never go wrong with Ninjago. I mean, seriously. It's weird, but it's a weird show in a good way. <laughs> And up at number four is Zane, the Nindroid. Zane was introduced in the first season kind of as an odd-looking guy. He didn't really understand jokes or anything like that. Then in season two, he discovered he was a robot, or a Nindroid. And then he he was very important in season four because it was a rebooted season with all the technology and stuff. And then he sacrificed himself to the Overlord, dumbest thing in the world. And then he died. And then he was brought back to life. Yeah. It's really... It's really weird. <laughs> He's the weirdest ninja I've ever seen, but hey, I mean, some people like him. And I don't have anything against those people. But he's pretty funny, especially his funny switch. You can never go wrong with that. And up at number three is Lloyd, the Green Ninja. Lloyd is first introduced as Lloyd Garmadon. He tried to be like his father when he was younger, tried to do bad stuff, and, and bad stuff on his terms would be eating a bunch of candy. He was the first idiot to <laughs> release the Serpentine and screwed over half the world. It's like Laval. <laughs> that sc stupid idiot. But... He turned good when he figured out he was the Green Ninja, and then he got, he had a good run, you know, he wasn't very important the next few seasons. Season 5 came around, he was possessed, nobody cared, really, I mean not as much as Zane's death, but, you know, he has a sad life. <laughs> and up at number 2 is Nia. Nia is a, a tom girl, or some, or a tom, what am I saying? Tomboy, my bad. <laughs> she is the samurai. Now, a lot of people really didn't know who the samurai was, and if you didn't know, I don't understand how you could live, alright? <laughs> it was, quite frankly, it was Nia, to be quite honest. But she also became a ninja in season 5, she first realized she was the master of water because her mother was the master of water and she became the master of water it's weird but she finally got her dream to become a ninja and now she needs a dragon where is that nope still haven't got it oh well and finally number one Kai Kai is the most like person who can be more irritating ever. Kai was first introduced in season one, like all the other characters, except for Misako and Pixel, but you get the idea. <laughs> um, Kai was, didn't really sure he wanted to be a ninja at all, and he only became a ninja to save Nia. Now, eventually, he loved being a ninja. He hates technology, and for some reason, he is afraid of water. But yet, in season three, 
when they were stranded on the island, it was clearly shown that he stepped in the water. Gee, you sure are afraid of water. When it's up to your ankles, it's not a really big deal, but when you're in the haunted hotel of Yang's temple, apparently, like, when it's up to your stomach, it's like, oh no, I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, good job, Lego. That really makes sense. So, yeah, basically, Kai is just a stubborn little brat. Or I wouldn't say brat. He's a stubborn flame dude. Mm-hmm. That's basically him. <laughs> so that is my top 10 characters. I'm sorry I made some jokes, but this is the channel where we just joke around. If you didn't like it, then I don't understand why you're here. <laughs> but I tried to do, um, give as much like little info as possible, but it's basically a no-brainer to who these characters are and what they do and a lot of stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any other top 10s you would wish me to do one on Ninjago specifically, just let me know in the comments below. Next week I'm going to try to do dragons, and that's all I have for you guys today. Comment, rate, subscribe, favorite, share this video with your friends and family, so everyone can enjoy little jokes about your favorite characters. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend, and I'll see ya.